Okay, Craig here. This is my trip to Taiwan at the airport in Denver, all the way to Taipei. It was like a three hour flight, then a 12 hour flight. And arriving at the airport, you know, I had my visa, but a few quarantine things, a SIM card so we could say that we're safe, and then I made it out. But what's this? One more thing. We had to uh, take a COVID test. It wasn't that bad, actually. For the amount of people at the airport, it was pretty streamlined. Got my sticker and jumped into a taxi for a 45 minute ride into the city in the dead of night. But welcome to the mandatory quarantine hotel, Liz Hotel. This is where they sent me. And I would be in this room for the next three days straight, not allowed to leave. Every so often they would send me food and they had tea and coffee, which I used up. And this was my view. So, you know, just hanging out, relaxing, all cool. I take occasional tests and they're all negative, but I feel like a scientist. And then eventually I realized that I could get Uber Eats delivered, so I did that a lot. A lot of coffee, some, you know, pizza every so often, but I would eat the soup. I love the soup. Whenever they sent me soup, I would eat that. I was able to leave once I took a COVID test and it was negative. I could uh, go out for the day. As long as I came back to the hotel at night, uh, I was good to go. <laughs> I feel like I'm not supposed to be out here. One, it's early and two, I don't know. It just, it's weird vibes being out here. I'm just happy. I don't know where I'm going. I gotta find some breakfasts and coffee, I guess. And thus began me wandering around the city looking for coffee shops and d different architecture and cats. It was just cool to walk around. Everything was interesting, you know. I got some cash out of the 7-Eleven, which is plentiful in the city. Lots of 7-Elevens. Triangle Garden Cafe. It had pretty cool vibes. There was a dog walking around and I didn't get a shot. I'm kind of upset with myself for not getting a shot of the dog. I randomly came across this line for this restaurant and if it has a line it's usually good and then I saw it had Michelin star stuff so I was like okay let's get some beef noodle soup it was good it was cheap it was delicious some subscribers had hit me up once they knew that I was in Taiwan and invited me uh, across town uh, up to a rock climbing gym, the Little Rock. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're going to do one. Yeah. It was a big group of like 10 or 12 people, and everyone was so friendly and welcoming. Wow, nice. I'm really glad I got to hang out with them. And after rock climbing, we walked around for a bit and they invited me back to an apartment to have tea and to just hang out a bit. So, and it was 
pretty cool to like see inside an actual Scott, apartment because I've been walking outside in the streets and the alleyways and looked up at all of these like fenced patios so I finally got to be in one. <laughs> After that I walked over to the night market before uh, I had to head back to the hotel and you know it's pretty exciting it's cool to shoot photos and like try some new stuff but i was just tired and ready to get back to the hotel uh, you know, after walking around basically all day mm. welcome day five this is the front of the Liz Hotel, and you can see the little spray thing that happens every time. <laughs> like, Nico really wants one, but... Yeah. So, uh, currently Hannah is a YouTuber friend that I've met up with in New York before, but she was in Taiwan doing the same project. So, <laughs> once she did her isolation days, we linked up, and it was so nice to, like, walk around and get to hang out with her. Look, just an iPhone. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, no. Cheers. Shaved ice is a thing. Uh, I didn't know what to expect, but it was literally like like syrup and fruit on snow and delicious. Din Tai Fung. Oh. I've been to a bunch of them before all over the world and let me tell you they are delicious. So Xiaoling Bao is like the most popular thing I would say. I get this every time. I did alright. And I've definitely eaten like three containers of these, so maybe like fifteen before I can do it. So good. Very pickled. That's what the reviews say. Very pickled. Afterwards, we split our different ways, and I headed across town to a tea house that was recommended to me by some YouTubers. And I'm a sucker for all things coffee and tea and minimalist, and the vibes were definitely immaculate in this place, Hermit's Hut. I did a little bit of shopping for Mika, and she loves random skincare gifts, so I got some for her. I realized that how I travel might seem a bit strange. I just love to wander and walk around, and it took me about an hour and a half that night to walk back to my hotel, but this type of city hiking is so relaxing to me. And I had just gotten the new iPhone 14 Pro right before this trip, so it was fun to test a uh, video in like night mode and nighttime shots. I only have two more days of quarantine hotel left and I'm starting to get used to the 7-Eleven greeting me every morning. It's my first day of sunshine and the plan is to take a train out of the city with Hannah. Hannah, there she is. This station is huge. I got the necessities for breakfast and we made our way on the train over to our destination. It wasn't that long or complicated. I'm pretty impressed after living in New York, the subways were 
pretty simple, pretty clean, easy to do. First stop is an hour ride to Hu Tong Cat Village. This police officer was legit like pouring food for his cat. It's just adorable. I just love it. Everything about this place was so fun. And Mika is definitely mad that I went without her. <laughs> I'm gonna have to visit again sometime soon. Just to pet all the cats. I got Mika some cat socks, of course. Yeah. I got some socks. Nice. Fox socks are a good move. Yeah. Oh, eating grass? Wow. Yeah, so. When I travel, I'm just always looking for any animals that I can pet or say hello to. It's a big part of what I do. This cafe was adorable. It's like a husband and wife team. Uh, she was talking to us and like in the front and then the husband was like making all these sweet, delicious desserts for us in the back. Cat Village definitely delivered on its promise of cats and cat themed things. We took a quick taxi ride over to Jufon. So this town is like thought to be the inspiration for Spirited Away. Uh, and you can definitely see like the similarities in art style and like architecture, but I think it's disconfirmed. It's really easy to kind of get lost up and down the stairs and the different alleyways. Feast. Feast. Yay. <laughs> My view is much nicer. Yeah. Right next to the town is the Mount Keelong Trail. It's a quick stairway up to the top and gives you great views of Joe Fun. Right before this trip, I got the DJI Mini 3 drone and was excited to try it out. This coffee shop had like a rooftop that was perfect to drone off of, by the way, if you're in town. We hopped on a bus and it was like a 45 hour long ride to Serenity Vegetarian Restaurant. And uh, Hannah's a vegetarian, so she recommended it and it was delicious. I recommend going. My last day walking around Taipei, uh, I went to Liberty Democracy Square. It was really stunning. Uh, a lot of big space, wide open plazas, beautiful buildings, and just like really picturesque, almost magical gardens with koi ponds. Yeah. This was my last day in Taipei and the next couple would be spent uh, traveling south to go hike 
in some of the mountains, including the highest in Taiwan, Jade Mountain, Yushan. It was lovely visiting Taiwan for the first time, and I'm sure I'll be back to explore different areas. Everyone I met was really friendly, and I got so many recommendations for things to see from locals, so I just have to come back. This video was made with support of Taiwan Pitch, Taiwan Plus, and the Ministry of Culture, Taiwan ROC. Thank you.